My first memory comes from childhood. I don't know if every family had a Merck manual in the home, and I don't know if it was the consumer's or the professional version if they had uh, such a duplication, but it was sort of fun to look at. It was uh, not big as it is today. It was small and thick and um, had a lot of red print in it for uh, emphasis. Well, I think my first memory was when I was a medical student because we all wore short white coats and we had this Merck manual that was supposed to fit in your pocket and it weighed about 20 pounds and so uh, it was hard to fit in, in your pocket but you always wanted to have it around to look things up. My wife and I are golfers and so we were playing golf one day. She hit some balls in the, in the rough and uh, interestingly enough the next day she said take a look at my leg and as she did a typical target lesion that was seen almost like Lyme disease um, a, a perfect example of, of a Lyme disease lesion was there. I immediately went to the Merck manual, found out the right antibiotic to, to prescribe for her, and uh, we were able to, to ward off any kind of problems with that. Actually, I completed a summer research fellowship, and at the time, I received an award. My faculty mentor asked me what I would like in recognition of that achievement, and considering that I was just beginning my clinical years, this was before the advent of the internet age, I asked for a hard copy of the Merck Manual. It really was my introduction to clinical medicine, and I used it as a go-to reference for all of my clinical rotations. I used the Merck Manual as a quick way, like if I was making rounds, or and a patient came in with something that I wasn't that familiar with, as a quick way to get a background for uh, the medical side of it. And then also it has a good summary of um, the treatment plans. So I always like refer to the Merck Manual. My father also, who was a pharmacist and had his own pharmacy, had a copy in his store as, a, again, a way to just find out information and that he knew would be accurate. The first time I heard about the Merck Manual, I think I was a first year medical student. It was one of those must buy books that we had, partly because it was a go-to resource that you could cover pretty much all of medicine in one volume. It was inexpensive, which was a big deal when we were med students, and it was easy to get around. Some of the books that were the comprehensive tomes were either really dense or physically hard to hold and carry around. The Merck Manual was something you could put on the dining room table after you had something to eat and look up a topic or two and at least feel that you were conversing the material. Well, the Merck Manual, of course, has always been in a print form, and that's how I used it in the beginning. Uh, but then when it became uh, a website and, uh, and present uh, on the internet, uh, I migrated to that as a source of information. And I find it to be incredibly useful, especially things like the calculator, which is uh, sort of one-stop shopping for figuring out um, you know, how to uh, uh, figure out things like body mass index and, uh, and standardized body mass indices for children. Uh, and there's just a wealth of information on the website that, you know, was harder to get at uh, in the print form. The change in the Merck manual, just in the time that I've been involved with it, has absolutely been remarkable. It was really, if I can say it, somewhat stodgy when I first came on, and now it's really exciting. There are 3D, there are videos, and there are all kinds of information that comes at a mile a minute. It's, it's really modern. What's been remarkable to me over my career is to watch medicine evolve and the Merck Manual follow it. I carried around the green book back and forth across the country as I did my training and as it's been on my bookshelf ever since. But it is now an alive, living, breathing, online, changing all the time document. It's an amazing, amazing resource and I think it's been, been exciting to watch it change and to be a part of that. Medical knowledge is power. Pass it on. Medical knowledge is power. Pass it on. Pass it on. Pass it on. Medical and dental knowledge is power. Pass it on. Pass it on. Medical knowledge is power. Pass it on.